blessings and blessings from the beautiful, crazy vortex that we call Venice Beach, California. Say hi to the little Kingston. Say hello to my little friend. Yes, that's my little friend. That's the little bub nugget, right? I'm gonna wait for a few to you to drop in. Because I want to talk about something pretty special. Something that I think a lot of us forget as we navigate our lives. As you're popping in, whether this is the replay or this is live, please just drop in and, and announce yourself and the word of the day. What's the word of the day? What's your word for today? What are you committed to living today? What's your word for today? Drop that in the comments right now. What's your commitment for the next 24 hours? What are you putting your focus on? What is, what is, right? Isness, current current circumstances what is has no bearing on what is coming unless you regurgitate what is from a place of lack and limitation I'm gonna say it again what is has no bearing on what is coming unless you regurgitate, meaning you bring the past into the present from a place of lack and limitation. Oh. Therefore, it is your duty. It is your job. Yes, the bub is pooping. It is your duty, it is your job to prophesy, meaning speak what you seek until you see what you said. You speak it into existence. You speak it into existence internally and externally. When someone says, how you doing? You say, I'm blessed. Even if you don't necessarily um, feel completely blessed, you look for ways to see the blessings. Because those, that, that prophesying, that uh, speaking it into existence is actually your duty. We're all prophets. Right? We're all here uh, as co-creators with the creator. We are all here to uh, dispense our gifts, talents, and abilities. And when we speak about what is, as if what is, is permanent, then the universe, God, source, intelligence, whatever name is most potent for you has to say yes. Why? Because we live in a universe, in a vortex that uh, has something called the law of attraction or the law of magnetism, meaning you always attract that which you are vibrating from, which you are believing about yourself and the world. And so you create a filter through which you see that world. The reticular activating system, the part of your brain that filters out everything else, it deletes, it distorts, and it generalizes until you see what it is that you were speaking about. So if you're speaking about lack and limitation, if you're speaking about not having enough, if you're speaking about uh, being um, less than, not as cute, not as pretty, not as big, not as small, whatever the words that you're using internally and externally, that is in essence prophesying about what is coming Rastafari blessings and blessings let it land let it land let it land oh Jesus and I, I do mean that it's our job to speak truth <laughs> and there's only one truth and that truth is love that truth is peace that truth is harmony. That truth is ever flowing abundance. What is has no bearing on what is coming unless we are regurgitating, meaning bringing the past into the present moment from a filter of lack and limitation. Can you hear me? We're always creating. There is no on and off switch to our creation. 
You don't get to stop that. Even when you go to sleep, you're creating. Now, it is my belief that the soul jumps out of the body and goes time traveling or astro traveling, visiting places <laughs> and people. Have I ever visited you in your dreams? Um, is this mindset train? Is this mindset like, uh, what did you say, Patrice? She said, thank you for the Father's Day love, by the way, guys. She said, is this mindset like training that takes time? Everything, to an extent, takes time, yes. But when better than now, right? We're always weaving our reality, and the time you're talking about is not necessarily some, like, far-off time where it's seven years from now. You can begin to prophesy about your life and miracles will appear all around you because you've created a filter for those miracles. Yes, you speak freedom. You speak into existence the uh, knowingness that whatever God you serve is beyond your human understanding. How many of you guys, just type yes, have ever been in a situation that you didn't think you maybe would get out of? How many of you have ever had a moment in your life where you were like, I don't know if I'll make it out of this? Type yes. Yes, sir. And then I want you to type hell yes. If somehow, some way, the universe, God, Jesus, whatever name is most potent for you, supported you in making a way out of no way, moving mountains, that a miracle appeared, that just when you thought you couldn't make it, something, something, someone, somehow, was shifted. What I'm talking about today is about prophesying, is about doing that on purpose, not waiting until the end, not waiting until we're at the, the you know, our, our, our last hope. I'm talking about doing it daily about intentionally prophesying about your life, right? Do you think I'm not scared to raise this little boy? It, like this is, this is one of the biggest jobs any human could ever take on. You think I'm not afraid of that? I experience the fear, but I'm also prophesying about my life and who I'm gonna be as a dad and who I'm gonna be and how I'm gonna be as a husband. And so we go back to what is, what's up fellas, has no bearing on what will be unless we are regurgitating from lack and limitation, from scarcity mentality. So we always have a choice. Are you going to choose to prophesy, to speak what you seek until you see what you said? Or are you going to choose to speak about um, what isn't? Because in any given moment, we can find what is. We can find some of, I mean, literally right now, please just type in the comments, type five, six blessings that you've experienced even in the last 24 hours. Because I can name 30,000 right now. From breathing, to sun on face, to alive, to waking up next to my beautiful wife and my child, to a million other things, right? My organs functioning. When I, ask, <laughs> when I ask my left arm to move, it moves. Blessings everywhere, right? And that feeling tone, when I get into that space of gratitude, when I get into that space of great fullness, great fullness, I become a magnet for more of that. And none of that is outside of other stuff that's maybe not going right according to my idea about right is. Catch it. Idea. Is this resonating? Are you blessed? All right, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I think uh, what was necessary came through. I just wanted to jump on and uh, show some love. Haven't brushed my teeth, haven't washed my face, just got up. 
and came out with this little dude. Right, my bubs? Is that daddy's baby? Is that a baby? Is that daddy's baby? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Kick those feet. Kick them. Yes. What's up, guys? Uh, all right, I love each and every one of you. If this resonated with you in any way, please share this message with somebody. Tag a friend, a family member in this message and uh, remind them that we are always creating. I'll see you guys soon.